We're in the middle of a crisis. Jurek Park Slap Funeral Home. End of March. When the phone started ringing off the hook. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry for your troubles, dear. People started dying. It was a small wave, it was a ripple, and then it erupted into a tsunami. One cemetery in Brooklyn sold out in one day. It's madness. We're not good. My hands are tied. I can't, I can't embalm a body. If I embalm the body, it would be a desecration. I have done in the last week what I normally do in three months. My condolences to everybody on this. What was the name of the deceased? And who am I speaking with? I have four families that I am seeing now and very little sleep. Please forgive me. I don't have time to breathe. I'm going downstairs. Couldn't take it anymore. Hey, Smokey, they won't believe. It's Bedlam. It's Bedlam. Anthony wants to know if you want him to close the casket. It's wearing away on me. The emotions. I mean, I'm, I'm getting tired. There's times at 3 o'clock in the morning, I just look at the paperwork ahead of me, I go, how the hell am I going to finish this? But I keep going because these families need me. On me, everybody leans on me. Get a favor, air stars. Okay, so yeah, everybody leans on me. And I lean back sometimes. Today would have been my other half's 60 second birthday. Gorgeous. He's dead 10 years. So I threw myself into my profession. Perhaps. The powers that be wanted me to be totally involved in the assistance that I could give to people who need it. I live, breathe, and sleep the funeral business. Mother's ass. She's probably having a fit. That's it. I'm done. I did a, a, another all night or less than. I'm exhausted. Church bells are ringing. Good Friday. This is so good, but I think you put a little too much mayonnaise today. Oh, I like a lot of mayonnaise. Oh. It makes good sandwiches. Jerk Park Slope, may I help you? Did you see Eyewitness News oh, yeah. last night? Yeah, yeah, they interviewed me. We're all going crazy here. And I have to go pick up my own caskets from South Brooklyn Casket. You're coming into a funeral home. There's reason why home is incorporated into the name. I think the fam, Doris, the family's here. 5% is dealing with the deceased. 95% is the dealing with the living. Please have the seats. When they walk in these doors, they are truly in need. Okay. Did you want to have a viewing? You want to just have a direct burial? We're just being safe. But you can have your traditional funeral. She could be dressed. I do the hair and makeup. 
I do this face every morning. And I bet you your mom is younger than I am. She was 56. I, I knew it. And what happened? It's just a virus. She couldn't uh, fight it off. It's horrendous. Horrendous. I got a call this afternoon. A 52-year-old mother and a 32-year-old son. The father also had COVID-19, he survived. I've had three sets of mother-son burials. My heart goes out to all these families. They didn't ask for this. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be lowering the casket now. We're all going to gather around here. I'm going to say a few words. We are gathered here to pay a final respect to a mother and a son. We leave behind the bodies that encapsule the spirits the bodies only because their spirits were set free. This has affected the lives of hundreds of thousands of families. This has affected everybody. The spirit is free. The spirit is happy. The spirit is young. Apparently there's no age up there. <laughs> and a gal who happens to be a size 18 is now a size six. <laughs> okay. I have to make them smile again. I have to make them laugh again. I have to make them realize that the best tribute to the people they've lost is to continue on. And when you go from this place, go not in mourning, go not in solace, because the best tribute that you could ever have to lose an Eric is to have a continued, prosperous, healthy, and happy existence. That will make them proud. It was an honor to serve your family. And I hope I never see you again unless it's on the Avenue shop. I just hope that they figure this out. And it would be nice that we'll be kinder to each other. Because when the spirits leave the body, we're all equal. There's no rich, poor. There's no stupid, smart. There are no tears or caste systems. Now, we're all equal. So, why not enjoy the time that we have now?